Have you ever wanted to be a bear? Have you ever wanted to run a bed and breakfast? If the answer to any of those two questions is yes, boy, do I have the game for you. Bear and breakfast. The premise, you're a bear. You own a bed and breakfast. You guys have been asking for me to try this game out, so I figured I would put it to the test and see is it good? Please leave all of your game suggestions down below. Anything that you would want me to play, let me know. Before we jump into today's video, I would love to tell you about today's sponsor, Mini Motorways. This game was so fun. I really love puzzle games, especially when I'm laying in bed and relaxing after a long day. This game, however, is about traffic management, and um, I'll admit, that's not the most relaxing thing, but Mini Motorways delivers a calming and strategic experience. Its varying game modes offer different levels of difficulty depending on your vibe. For those who are looking for low stakes, chill gameplay, Endless Mode allows you to play without a game over or score to worry about. Expert Mode was also just added for players looking for strategic and challenging gameplay. Mini Motorways also gives players frequent challenges with all sorts of unique traffic restrictions, and I found each of these game modes to be rewarding in their own way when I was playing on stream. If you're into puzzles or maybe even traffic in general, hey, I don't judge. I think you'd be into Mini Motorways. This game and all of its new content is available right now on Switch, Steam, and Apple Arcade. If you're interested in Mini Motorways, make sure to check the link in my description. Thank you so much to Mini Motorways for sponsoring this video. Now, let's hop back in. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? Same. I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Oh my god, is this literally my life? Mom's gonna kill me? Oh, that's not very relatable for me. I'm 25. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. Wait, is this- are we playing bear and breakfast? <laughs> Why does this seem very scary? His forehead felt heavy with crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. What is going on? <laughs> Suddenly, a blinding jolt of light lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent again except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. <gasps> Look at me though. Actually, I'm so cute. Oh, I can't move. Do not. <gasps> do what? See, because that's already happening. Move. Can't do that either. Wazdi. <laughs> Why does it feel so ominous that just this tutorial is crazy right now? Here we go, we got it. I'll just take a nap in the deathbed. I really thought this game was gonna be like so wholesome and cute. What's going on? All right, I go to bed, good night. Don't, what? You're not great at making your mind up. Oh, what, whose eyes? I see you. That's it, no more dumplings before bed. Mm-hmm, yeah, the dumpies will do it. Oh, hi, I'm up, I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in again. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides, I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Hey, thanks, Mom. Ooh, where's Annie? Oh, in her room with Will, probably. I should go wake him up. Alrighty, guys. Let's go to somewhere else. Who is that? Get out! Is this a bird? Am I talking to a little bird? Not very good morning of you. Why don't they like me? There's nothing good about being up this early. I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. What's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to other holes? Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under bushes for mushrooms. See, that's like the wholesome shit that I was expecting from Bear and Breakfast, okay? How come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Well, honestly, Will, that sounds like a lot of fun to me. We're not allowed to pass the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. It's morning, we're up, let's do stuff. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, the outside is really pretty. I really like this art style. <gasps> There's Mom. Mom's by the eye rock. Hey, Ma. Morning, kid. It's morning, Mrs. M. Did you sleep all right? As good as ever. I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good and I need your help. I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. We gotta go get the stuff. Sweet. Oh, it's already dark. Why is it nighttime? So my current quest is to go to Black Moss through the thicket. I can view my quests here. Wonderful. I also have a bag. Ooh, I can move all these around. You know what? I love that. Okay, so apparently this is where I'm supposed to go. Past the fence. Ooh. 
the three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before. Past the soothing meadows and quiet streams of the thicket, Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the Carolean dog? I'm sorry, I don't know what kind of dog that is. Will, the poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. Hank, the brown bear, cheerful and curious. Maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home? No, Mom, I'm definitely not gonna wander too far in an adventurous fashion. You know what? Maybe you just need to live a little, Hank. So I thought that we had just woken up and it is dark. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Oh. <gasps> what was that? I heard it too. We'd better go, but we haven't found the thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sound came from. That's not what I meant. <laughs> we are the people that would die in the horror movie. Oh God, my friends ran off towards the noise. My first instinct when I hear a scary, horrible screeching noise is not to go directly towards that thing. But hey, maybe that's just me. I found my friends next to the shark. The strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pawn Voyage. Hello, be part of the next exciting experience, enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver? Are we on Shark Tank. You should invest in my barren breakfast because I think that's what the game is going to be about soon. Pon Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-year friend corporation. We're all family here. Offering security, touristy, adjacent goods, and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one in three day all exclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Pon Voyage is also on the lookout for brand and new ventures and locations. Uh, we will take any location or premises, no matter how run down or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. For humans to live, here? Okay, do we think humans are good, bad, scary? If you or a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a Pond Voyage Premium Premises, by restoring, repairing, and redecorating and bringing it up to minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces. Wow, that sounds familiar. That sounds like regular Airbnb. If I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. All I heard was that humans are coming back. Humans. I've barely seen one in months. Don't you see what this means? With our oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoil sports cheerful attitude, we stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. Human back, money, give good. Okay, so we want money. This game is about money, money, money. Get the humans to give us money. Just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyways. This is a great idea. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Okay, guys, this is amazing. We're gonna be able to start our brand new, very own bed and breakfast. My first quest here is to find Tony the beaver. I think he's gonna help me get started on my bee and being. But I got a bear. <laughs> wow, he is adorable. It's just me, sir. Hank from the thicket. Oh, goodness, you can talk? I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? <laughs> She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We gotta help. Why don't you just say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Can you make all that? <laughs> oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read things. Would you like me to teach you? Oh, my goodness, how cute. So we're gonna fix up this old shack together. He's gonna teach me how to be a contractor, beaver style. So I need to get five plywood planks, but don't need. Wow, okay, I'm getting a lot of planks here, you guys. Not a huge fan of having to press things twice in order to pick them up. So I go like this. And then I have to go like this. Hopefully I don't have to pick up too many things. So did you find all the wood? Yep, gotta rot her. Perfect, you're doing such a great job. <gasps> I love him. I'm headed to Timber Crossing, I'll see you there. I don't know where that is. Ooh, okay, so we're back here at the road. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Oh, and we're gonna take this shed and fix it up. Okay, my first task here. Craft an item. Whoa, okay, this is kind of like The Sims. You can have walls, no walls, you can have whatever you want. And then crafting here, we want to make a level one bedroom object. Shabby palette bed recipe. Oh, I can't place it in the hallway. What? Okay, I'm building a bedroom and then I'm putting a bed in it. Ah, so cute. 
Oh no, I think the only thing I was supposed to do was just make the bed. All right, I gotta steal my bed back. Sorry, Tony. I got a little ahead of myself here. I play the Sims. Yeah, I know how bedrooms work. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority by having someone around they can look down on. So we're gonna need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table at the front house that tells them where to go and a little black book to keep the records for the shark. And then I can craft that and I am good to go. And we're gonna make so much freaking money. We're not even gonna know what to do with it because we're animals. All right, there's our front desk. Looks fabulous. I love it. Go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell him we got his joint ready. That is a beautiful looking B and B. Hello, we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. That was easy. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People, look at that guy. Those dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings forging the world with their magic and machine, mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. All he knew for sure was what his mom always said, keep your distance. So much for that. Madison West wants to come stay at my b and me? Come on. So Madison is coming tomorrow. I got a human on the way. <laughs> I am with human. Make sure you keep up with guest demands as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Ooh, that's interesting. Are we gonna get some Karens up in here? That's not any fun. Good morning, everybody. My first guest has arrived. If only I could get there. Oh my God, <gasps> there she is, a human. She's here. Hello. It seems like she's very satisfied. Okay, where are you going? Oh, apparently it's very scary out here. Is she leaving? She hates it? Am I scaring her? Am I the one? Where are you going? Oh, geez. She's passed by all this garbage. And who the heck is this? I'm looking for something humans like. Something that would make them feel more distinguished. I need something exquisite. Why am I asking the little trash panda? I feel like humans aren't gonna love trash. Okay, this guy doesn't want me to go through his garbage because he wants a snack. It looks like your premium property is lacking in the old pee department. Prestige. That means that the decoration levels of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly. That's what I was afraid of. Madison was walking around like she'd never seen anything so disgusting. Raise the property prestige level to a satisfying degree before returning. Oh, uh, okay. And I have a little bit of money here so I can buy some of this useless furniture. And wow, okay. So I learned some recipes. Wooden footrest. Sure. And a simple wardrobe. My guests are gonna go crazy for this. Can I rotate objects at all? Or is this not possible? Because I I actually can't fit my wardrobe um, and that makes me very sad but you know what I can fit my footrest and I can give them a window hey maybe that's nice you know what I figured out you guys I had to go to sleep and wait one more day because I had no money and now that Megan or whatever her name is, is gone. I have a little bit of money to spend so I can build another room. So here we go, we got another bedroom. Hopefully this means I can get more guests, right? My prestige level is still at one. It keeps telling me to put in like decorations, which is um, fabulous, but I don't know how to put more decorations in. So I wonder how I am supposed to get more items. A little bit earlier I found this junk rat and he asked me to get him a sandwich and then he would let me dig through his trash. Lucky for him, I did indeed find a sandwich. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard? Just like mom used to make. I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. I'll even let you have this one for free. Sweet, I've now unlocked Took's garbage. And look, it has so many decorations, let's go. Took also seems to have a totally different currency of valuables, which I can perceive to maybe be trash. That should totally be enough decorative objects for me to get to level two prestige. I'm also really loving placing items and decorating. This is so fun. I do wish that like The Sims, there was a way to just show the back wall, you know, like the outside facing back wall, right? All my simmers, you know what's up. These are so freaking nice. My guests tomorrow are gonna be like, wow, you're so amazing, bear. Oh, marvelous. The old travel kiosk was the jewel of Timber Crossing. It was one of the first things humans built here. So I think we should spruce it up like we did with the shed. Oh, this is a brilliant idea. As usual, my son, student, 
that's yes that's what i said he is my dad he's so fatherly i love it he's my favorite character also i mean what's not to love about that face if i remember everything correctly there are a few things the humans looked for in the kiosk i can make a couple but i don't have everything i need to get them just right i'll need a bit of human literature book there's also an old computer sitting under the tower in sawdust and some sort of writing apparatus i think the bus driver might have one in his little bus shack but my next task is to go on this adventure to get all of the items so that we can redo the kiosk i don't know it sounds like we're making a library or something boom i found something old trash can i don't know if that's what i wanted oh what is going on here is that a human wait a diddly darn minute who is that okay wait what did you say the woods are peaceful and quiet these days a little too quiet do you know that you're talking to a bear okay wait i guess there's another human in here but i'm pillaging from their house well hello there bud ah shoot i was caught aren't you a good looking one I haven't seen your likes around my buses before i like your hair yeah i'll give him a compliment soft bear noises oh what a kind looking bud you are i'm oliver i run the buses here if it wasn't evident do you do you take the bus <laughs> you know what do you think you could do me a solid bud i've got this letter i've been dying to send okay so i have to go Oh, I was just at the fire watch tower and I can't get the pen until I give the letter to the fire watch lady. This is so tragic. Hello, ma'am. I am back. I have a letter for you. Apparently, this is the only human that can actually understand me too. All the other ones have not understood a word that I'm saying. I am just simply a bear. So I delivered the letter. Apparently, it's the last page of our atlas. We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in the fire. I know you came all this way but could you get this thing back to him i bet he doesn't even know i have the rest oh and she was so nice as to give me a compass i don't know what it does i don't know i wasn't even really looking at my map before so like i wasn't even referring to the map but i think this map works now you know what don't ask me because i didn't even check even once for a moment hello oliver i am back she gave me this for you oh wow oh wow bud she found the rest of it that's incredible bud look there's sawdust high lake and look this is where we are you probably don't even even know what I'm on about. Uh, he thinks I'm dumb. He thinks I don't speak human. Oh, nice. I was trying to fix up the bus stop earlier and this was one of the ingredients. So I have to use that to fix up our stops. And you know what that unlocks? fast travel which is going to be my lifesaver here also i can't tell but i think it's the morning and my guests are going to be arriving soon but i gotta go pick up that last object so i can continue completing all of my quests this game has a lot of quests which i think is very nice i forgot why i'm doing this but you know what i am just a quest and bear that's all i can do all day quest 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 and guest 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 wow just like new that is just like new looks great in there i've done about all i can for this place. I think you've got a good start here. Although there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. I'll be back in my mail if you ever need me. No, my dad is leaving. Hank, where have you been? I've been sniffing all over. I met Tony and he taught me how to find some lumber. Then we made a bed for humans. And where did you find the alligator weed? Oh, we didn't find any of that. Just pine and plywood. I totally forgot about that. I kind of forgot about these guys too, like in general. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, we have to go home. Sorry, mom. I can't bring you your weed. I'm too busy running a B&B. &B. Hank, where have you been? My goodness gracious. Are you alright? Did something happen? I'm okay, mom. Just being like an incredible business bear. Humans are coming back. I don't suppose anything's wrong with that. Okay, cool. So we, we just love humans here. And it's totally chillin' and we'll take their money. I suppose there's nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. Oh, wow. Okay, Jesus. Oh, who is this? I just had an old-ass mouse approach me. Listen, you made quite an impact on my trash-talking associate. If you happen to make your way down come find me at the dump i'll make you an offer you can't refuse or, I don't know, I guess you could refuse it, but it's a pretty good offer. Okay, so we're gonna go meet up with Godfather Rat at the dump. I'm in the A24. I think I found the mouse godfather. Our hefty entrepreneur. How'd you find the trip, Hank? I don't think I told you my name. <laughs> you didn't have to, I knew it before your mother did. My collaborator up north says you're up to something good. 
bringing people back up in the valley. That's good news for everyone, but we got a problem. One of my crew went missing three nights ago. Claire will fill you in. We lost weight at approximately 9 p.m. near the Black Moss border. I'll make you a deal. You need me and my dumb to get your little venture up and running. Otherwise, you'll run around for scraps and die of old age before your first customer sets foot in the place. Except for, I've had a lot of customers, sir. You don't know anything about me. I will go find your friend out of the goodness of my heart, but I don't need your stupid trash or your trash talk. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I'm just looking for for a friend. A friend here? Happy hour ain't what it used to be? He's pretty small and I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. I know where your weight is. We found the rat. What is going on here? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. This lady's not letting me take the rat. I gotta get her something. Good thing I have been foraging and pillaging this whole time. I got the rat. I bargained for it. Now he's walking on home. Please be careful. Okay, nice. Whoa! We have access to all of that garbage. I cannot wait to go dumpster diving. This is gonna be so cool. This is instrumental to our business. And there's so many interesting parts and resources in here too. I figured out how to rotate objects. You will be pleasantly surprised to know that you can just press R and it will rotate. This opens up a lot of possibilities. I added another room to my beautiful B&B. &B. And you know what? It is looking really good. I'm very excited to announce that we can open up an Airbnb somewhere else. Yes, this is happening the motel in the a24 that looks so cool welcome to the motel we're gonna be able to make so many rooms we can do hygiene and special now distillery i want to try out this bathroom thing so apparently the minimum size is three by three so that's how i'm choosing to set it up just three by three now apparently it needs a sink toilet shower i don't have like materials to do that. Add that to my list of things that I need to do to get this place up and running. Now, I want to know what is this distillery? <gasps> it's a bar. Oh my God, it's a bar. Wow, that's so exciting. I just can't afford to do it, but that's kind of how I would imagine I would set it up. And I'm going to get my first guest. Oh, I got new crafting for all of the, the toilet bathroom stuff. This is so fun. I'm loving this bathroom shower situation. The shark gave me all the stuff to build the distillery, but I don't have enough many. And I have no other guests that want to come stay, even though I have four rooms. That's fine. How is my other B&B doing? Well, it's doing pretty good. I just think I should build more bedroom. If I have enough money to do that, I... I don't. Oh, shoot. I don't have money. Well, that's fine because you know what? I can just wait, get some other little tasks done. Like maybe I can get more furniture using the garbage currency and try to really pimp out these gorgeous little motel rooms. I made all the rooms the same because for some reason it would really bother me if they weren't all the same. This is just who I am. I can't help it. Also very important. I think I figured out that I can wear a hat and I can also wear pants. Um, not sure about the status on the shirt yet, but hey, hopefully we're gonna get there. Okay, you know what might just be shattering my world here? I think that there's a problem with this bathroom. This man, he walked into this room and he said, okay, everything's chilling, except he said no bathroom. <gasps> look, 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 look. Did you see him? Oh, I don't know what happened. He glitched out. The bathroom needs to be connected. This is a big stinker. I gotta reorient this entire place. I don't even know. I, I, I was so obsessed with my layout and now here we are. <gasps> Oh my God, I was doing all of that. And then look, it's just, it, it, you have to just be nearby the bathroom. Oh my God. Well, look, I've already, I've already done all this work and now I have a whole new layout in my mind. Apparently this room just was perfectly not close enough to the bathroom to where the guy didn't think that we had a bathroom. I'm just, I'm gonna fix it. We're gonna go for the most effective layout here. Don't you worry. It, remember what I said about the efficiency play? We're, we're, I guess we're not, 
of doing that. But I did make a gorgeous, beautiful motel. I think the layout is decent. It, it, we're not gonna make the most money out of this, I don't think. But that's okay because, you know, we also just wanna have like the cutest place ever. And then we also have our bar in here. And then I need more like furniture and decor for the other rooms. And also I did end up having to kick out a lot of guests because I needed to move rooms around and you have to kick them out in order to edit any of the rooms. <laughs> but that's okay because look, we have all of the hygiene boost and everything for these rooms. It's gonna be great. The only thing that I need to really up my game on is comfort. I wonder if I could buy a better bed. Oh yeah, okay, shabby wooden bed. Rustic delight bed. I'll go ahead and craft a buttload of those. Oh wow, and this bed is way prettier. I love the rustic vibes. Um, I'm also really mad that I can't put this bed in the same exact spot as that bed. It's like one off. Is it this window? What are you doing to me? Sure guys, it's fine. Okay, so you guys, on my wonderful journeys, I have figured out you can't sell any items in this game. So I'm kind of just stuck with like an inventory full of furniture that I don't need anymore. I can't like get rid of my old beds unless I wanna put them in storage, which I guess is totally a viable option. Or I could just trash them, which seems like a total waste. I mean, I would love to be able to disassemble any of the things that I've crafted and then like use those resources to do other things, right? This seems very silly to me. Maybe not to you guys, I don't know. What's your opinion on that? This game requires like a lot of work and a lot of thinking and brain power and everything, but a lot of it is kind of like, I guess, not really waiting around. There's enough to do. Like, um, you know, in my downtime when I'm like, okay, I don't have any more money to like add more rooms. I can go and do foraging, kind of like this. And there's all sorts of crazy little critters all around that I've been meeting. And everybody's been pretty stinking cool. Also, once it gets late enough, I can go to sleep so that I can just go to the next day, which I have been doing a lot because the most important resource above all is money. You need a buttload of coins in order to really make anything happen, as well as the trash resources, the valuables. That is super important as well. Also really cool, you can sleep from anywhere. I love it. And I guess the reason being is because you're a bear and you don't really need a bed. There's no energy meter or anything like that. You can just go, 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 and you don't have to worry. You are just a bear on the run. And you know what? I love that for us. The one thing you have to really remember above all is to just make sure that your rooms are getting filled. Like before the beginning of each day, you got to make sure that you come stop in and just double check, make sure that you don't have any vacancies. Otherwise, that severely harms your income flow, okay? I think I'm in a good place now where I could probably head up to the Highland Lake, High, High Lake, because my guests are doing okay. They seem pretty happy and content. I'm getting used to the rating system. They all have different needs, whether it be comfort, decor, or hygiene. And so I'm like trying to strategically put all of the little guys in each room. It's really fun. It's a fun little task. Ooh, I wanna unlock that fast travel so bad. I don't have a bus sign. But you know what I did stumble across? Ah, another b and baby. I love it. <gasps> Is there a farm up there too? You're fucking kidding me. And oh my God, an upstairs. You're joking. That's so cool. I'm gonna freaking bed and breakfast the heck out of that place. Wow, that house never looks so clean. Is that a fresh coat of paint? It is. Is there anything you need? I could go get it for you. I'm pretty great at that. I gotta go find sage. Oh my goodness, so much questing. And you know what else I got to do? Ah, make a little campsite? That's kind of sick. I get to build camping stuff. This is so fun. Hey, that looks pretty good. I love it. I somehow ended up in this very dark and scary and creepy forest. I'm trying to get stuff for the goat, Julia, so that she would love me and maybe let me steal some of her crops. All right, Missy, I got your sage. <gasps> wow, I get to make a dining room now. Holy cow, that's so cool. And I am gonna take all of Julia's crops. Thank you very much. 
I hope that she won't be mad. I gotta say, the whole double pressing so that I can harvest things driving me nuts. Where am I going to put this dining room? <gasps> Kitchen and dining room? I'm gonna put it right here by these big beautiful windows. That is going to be gorgeous, darling. We've got our stools and a buffet. Perfect. You've got everything you need to start making some delicious food. Oh, except like the one important bit, somewhere to cook it. I can't even believe I was not expecting to be able to be farming and cooking in this game. I really thought that this was it. Like you just, you run your little B&Bs and you mind your business. Kitchen complete. Grab some taters from the garden and some mint next to the lake and give your new kitchen a spin. As a bear, have I ever cooked before? Seems like a lot of responsibility. Um, I don't understand this at all. How do I cook? Okay, guys, this is officially the fucking weirdest thing ever. But, um, we've got it. Apparently, I have to pick the boil card and put the things that are in the boil category, i.e. potato, on the boil card, fuel, wood bada bing bada boom oh it's cooking a shitload of mashed potatoes okay maybe i should have selected less potatoes but that's fine um we now have three things of mashed potatoes mint tea how do i just pick one i don't want to use all of my ingredients at one time okay guys i could not figure it out so i'm just making three mint teas apparently i i don't know i i give up that was that was way too much brain power i actually really don't like this but that's okay i am also not using to change and I am a hater always all the time but I mean hey it wasn't that difficult but I also I did not figure out how to just select like a, a number of items from your inventory to cook with so if anybody knows how to do that please let me know so I don't waste all of my ingredients all the time nice and then she gave me a bunch of her recipes oh cool so okay by cooking a bunch of these recipes that's what I'm going to serve out on our buffet table right here. This tiny buffet is going to house all of these mashed potatoes and all of that mint tea that we just made. So if I wanna buy more recipes from her, I can absolutely do that. But I think that before I hop off today, I'd love to get this farmhouse set up. Looking pretty good. This is a functional bathroom, thank God. God. I don't know what I would do if that was not the case. I think I would just simply give up and cry. Hee <laughs> hee. Gotta make sure to decorate it at some point, but not today, my friends. I think I am hopping off. This is cute. You know, I wasn't expecting all of this to be so elaborate. Like, we really do have a lot of things to do. There's so many little milestones and tasks to do and complete. Only couple things that bug me is you can't really do anything with your old furniture. I haven't really had much of a problem with it though. The only thing that I would love to either break down for resources or sell would be the beds. Beds would be nice to get rid of. Also, now that we have like cooking and farming and all of that, I can see inventory management being very annoying and frustrating because this is a lot. So what I'm really, really hoping is that I can um, make like a little chest or a refrigerator pantry type of item so I can store all of my food in the kitchen. And sure, it's it's totally fine for me to like store it in the dumpster. I just am really hoping that it's something I can keep in the kitchen. And also, I'm really just hoping like total pipe dream stuff. If there were a pantry, we would be able to use the pantry while we're cooking instead of having to take everything out of the pantry into my inventory. Okay, you know what I mean? You guys catch my drift. Um, just a little bit of like quality of life stuff would be really, really helpful to this game. But I really am enjoying the content in general. Like it's been a really fun game to explore and play. So many different little areas to unlock. Like I am loving it. And now I feel like we have so much more to look forward to. So that is cool. Let me know what you thought of the uh, good old, good old B&B. &B. Again, if you have any game suggestions, please let me know. Sometimes I like to play games on Twitch first. Other times I like to just throw them on and play them for a video. So please feel free to come and check us out on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash list the last. I also have other socials, Instagram, Twitter, if you would like to check those out. If you liked this video, I definitely recommend you check out my unpacking playthrough. Two videos of 
very epic awesomeness that I had so much fun making. If not, I'm sure I'm gonna put a little thingy for Baron Breakfast Part 2 when that comes out. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.